Hello friends in this video we are going to learn how to use data tables query plugin with PHP MySQL and how can we use this plugin with bootstrap. In this video we will use bootstrap library with data tables query plugin and by using PHP script we will display MySQL table data into data table styling with bootstrap library. Data Tables is a query plugin and it is highly flexible tools for displaying data in HTML table. The most benefit of using this plugin into our web project is that it reduces our lots of server-side code like code for pagination, code for search data from table, code for multi-column ordering. It has also support different type of data source like JavaScript, Ajax and server-side processing. It can be easily the Mabel with its own data tables, query user interface, bootstrap. This is my index.php page we have include query cd and link get from Google hosted library and then after we have add bootstrap library cd and link get from its official website. For using data table plugin on this page. For this we have include this link from datatables.net site, we have include total three links from that side, first link is data table javascript file, by including this file we can use the javascript functionality of data tables plugin, second link is data tables with bootstrap javascript file, by including this link we have to use data tables with bootstrap library and last link is also data table bootstrap style sheet. By including this link we can use format data tables table by bootstrap CSS framework. So this all link should be include for using data tables plugin with bootstrap. After including all required links we have moved to start load data under data tables plugin. So for this we have one employee table into our database testing, so we want to load that table data into data tables. So for this first we have make database connection, so we have write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with for argument like host set to locale host, username set to to root, password set to blank and database name to testing. After making database connection we have writing dollar $query variable is equal to select start from table employee order by id in descending order. This query will fetch all employee data. Now we want to execute this query, so we have write dollar $result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string dollar $connect and in second argument we have write dollar $query variable. This function will execute query and store result into this result variable. Now we have defined one table for load this data into that table, so for this we have write table tag with attribute it is equal to employee data and attribute class is equal to table table stripe and table bordered, this all are bootstrap library class which we have used with data tables plugin and employee data and we will use ing query code for data tables for identify we want to load data into this table. Under this table we have write open and close table head tag and under this tag we have write open and close table row tag and under this tag we have write 5 table heading tag with text like a name, address, gender, designation and age. This way we have defined table definition. Now under this table we want to print employee table data. So we have write while loop open and close bracket and between this bracket we have write dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with one argument like dollar result variable. This function will convert query result to associative array and store into this dollar row variable. Under this block we have write echo statement with text like open and close table row and between this tag we want to print employee table column data, so we have write 5 table data tag. In first tag we have display name by writing dollar row name, in second table we have display address by writing dollar row address, in third table data tag we have display gender by writing dollar row gender, 
In fourth table data tag we have display designation by writing dollar road designation and in last table data tag we have display age by writing dollar row age. This way we have display data into table. Friends you can see that employee data in HTML table and this table has been formatted by using bootstrap style sheet library. But now we want to activate data tables plugin on this employee table. So for this we have go to query code part and under this we have write dollar with employee data which is an it of table in which we have loaded employee data with dot data table method. This method has activate data tables query plugin on employee data table. So on this table we can use the functionality of data tables plugin. So our code is ready so we have saved this code and check out what in browser. Now friends you can see on web page functionality of data tables plugin has been activated on employee table. We can see that some feature of data tables plugin like how many entries you want to show on single page by default is 10 but suppose when we have changed 10 to 25 then it has been loaded 25 records under table. Above the table there is one search box from this search box you can search any table column data and it return instant search result. On each table heading column you can show data in ascending or descending order by simple clicking on arrows. Below the table you can show pagination link. This plugin has make pagination automatically when data has been loaded into table. For all these things we do not have to write single line code. All features are built in into this data tables plugin and all these features are work on page. It do not send request to server side and load data without refresh of page. Here we have simple load data from MySQL table by using PHP SIPT and this we have make HTML table and then after we have load data into HTML table so our HTML table with data is ready so now we want to only activate data tables plugin on that table so we have activate data tables plugin by using data table method with table. So this method has activate functionality of data tables plugin on table. By using this plugin we have to write less code and get more functionality like column sorting, instant searching, show number of entry on single page, pagination and many more without writing a single line of code. This plugin is easily the Mabel with Bootstrap library. This all advantage of using data tables plugin into our project. So friends this is my video tutorial on how to use data tables query plugin with PHP MySQL and Bootstrap. If you like this video please share this video with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. Friends you want to get more update of my video. So friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.